The titanium proximal tibia system includes instruments for both open and percutaneous techniques. The open technique instruments can be used for both the posteromedial and lateral plates. Select the desired length for the posteromedial plate. The plate is designed to sit distal to the insertion of the semimembranosus tendon. Pin the plate to the bone with 1.5 mm non-threaded guide pins. The variable angle drill guide is comprised of the 2.8 mm drill guide threaded into the screw sheath and is used for 3.5 mm cortical or 3.5 mm variable angle locking screws. Drill through the guide with the 2.8 mm drill bit and use the calibrations to determine the screw length. A hook tip depth gauge can also be used. Unthread the 2.8 mm drill guide from the screw sheath. Pass the selected screw on a T10 driver through the screw sheath and insert into the bone. When close to the plate, pull back on the screw sheath so it doesn't get trapped between the screw head and the plate. The 2.8 mm fixed angle snap in drill guide can be used for the 4.0 mm fixed angle locking screws. 3.5 mm cortical screws or 3.5 mm variable angle locking screws when drilling at the nominal angle. Drill through the guide with the 2.8 mm drill and use the calibrations or the hook tip depth gauge to determine the screw length. Insert the selected screw on a T10 driver. The AO ratcheting torque limiting handle or AO powered torque limiting adapter is recommended for the locking screws. Add additional screws as necessary. For the lateral plate, a similar technique is used. The variable angle drill guide is used for 3.5 mm cortical or 3.5 mm variable angle locking screws. For drilling at the nominal angle, the 2.8 mm fixed angle snap-in drill guide can be used for the 4.0 mm fixed angle locking screws, 3.5 mm cortical screws, or 3.5 mm variable angle locking screws. The lateral plate has two rows of proximal rafting screws and two kickstand screws to address various fracture patterns.